Get inventory. To the Lua API. Lua player, get inventory. Oh, did I pass in the player? I did not pass in the player. Okay, there we go. Let's give that a go. <laughs> uh, 19. Do I not return the result? Yes, I do not return the result. Icarus, you feel dirty not having push beyond the end? Yeah. It's a Q though. Push and pop. For a Q, you push, it goes on... Wait. I guess it's a stack. Okay, it's a stack. You win. It just also has the ability to put things on the bottom of the stack instead of on the top. Okay. Okay, so now it did actually detect that I was able to build this particular module, right? Because it's actually having me start building it. So, uh, minus 39 just means north. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, minus 97. Okay, great. So it's all the way up here. Uh, very soon I'm going to be able to put the move, I'm going to implement the move to task and build building tasks in here. Uh, where are we? 97, still north. Oh god. Alright, so it's underneath all these trees. Excellent. I do actually have... Wait for it. Uh, place building task. Verify this space and possibly clear out trees, etc. So, eventually... The AI will do everything itself. And then I'll be able to just sit back and watch Factorio play itself. It'll be so great. Okay. So I think it's going to go here. Correct. Okay, great. Stone Furnace. Alright. Why do I need two Stone Furnace? Oh, right. Because the ingredients for the uh, for this guy is one Stone Furnace. Uh, and then a Stone Furnace is also needed for the next. No, that's not it. Uh, oh right, I'm trying to build two burner miner drills back to back, so that's why I need two stone furnaces so that I can build up that. Um, interesting that it did not break that down, but I guess that makes sense, because gather resources um, shouldn't need to break it down. But what I will need to do is figure out how to make uh, the gather whatever task um, know how to go and get stuff intelligently rather than just you know, check out, like, just ask for that thing. Because at the end of the day, really, it should be smart enough to know, um, oh, I need a stone furnace. Okay, well, where can I get a stone furnace? I can't have one, so I need to craft it. And so then that would put in a, a task um, to go and fetch some stone furnaces. So... Uh, that's what we'll need to do probably another day. Because uh, this is, uh, it's getting pretty late now. should break it down if you don't have a node builder for it. Exactly, yeah. So there'll be modules that have different things. So like if I need um, like gear wheels, for example, um, then I should go and get that from the, the gear wheel building module of the factory. Um, and ideally, I won't need gear wheels in my hand. Uh, I'll be able to go and get them um, from, I'll be able to just connect the module of the factory that produces gear wheels to the connect the module of the factory that needs them. And then we get into um, you know pathfinding and, and automated spaghetti, which is really, I mean, really, that's what we're all here for, right? Um, but with that, I'm going to uh, call it for today. Um, got to go to bed, get up early, go to work, etc. So thanks very much for hanging around. Thank you very much to Kona Will for the host. Um, very, very gentlemanly of you. Um, if you are interested in following me, um, like you can obviously follow on Twitch, but I also am uploading these videos to YouTube. Uh, you can also check out the repository on GitHub. And uh, that's going to be submitted denied slash factorio dash AI mod. Um, you can jump in here, grab the code, take a look at it. You could download it and run it yourself if you're if you're interested in modding stuff and you can just sort of see what the mod does. Uh, if you have ideas, if you have, um, you know, find bugs, anything like that, feel free to um, put those in as issues or pull requests or whatever. Um, also, 
yeah, just get in touch however you like. Um, if you're going to be watching this on YouTube, remember that I am probably going to be splitting this up into 15 minute videos. So please let me know how you feel about that, whether you would rather for them all to be uh, like one hour long videos or if you want, uh, or so I guess in this case, it'll be a one and a half hour or two hour long video. Um, or if you prefer it to be broken down in 15 minutes, I don't know what's best. I guess I prefer watching smaller episodes, but we'll see. So thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Hope to see you again uh, next time. Uh, but until then, uh, this is the Factory Code Metafactorio, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.